A new ban list has been announced in game for Duel Links. This is the end of a tier zero deck. We're going to get right into that. And with that said, we have a $100 giveaway for Duel Links gems or Master Duel gems. Whichever game you want, comment, subscribe, and you will be entered in the giveaway. Let's get right into this. If you didn't know, the Brains World has entered Duel Links towards the end of September. And with that happening, Salamangrate Great on release has been tier freaking zero for how many months now? We are in November. For about two months, we have a tier zero deck. And now we're gonna look at what that has done to the game and what the ban list means. If you want a better visualization of what has been going on with Duel Links, we'll click on last four weeks and tournaments. Salman, great dominating. We just had a Casey Cup and it was about half of the top decks it looks like, which I would say 50% of best performing decks is about what tier zero would look like to me. Mech Knights being about 16% of the other decks. Now, this is not the full representation. I'm sure there was a lot more Salaman great. Now, get into the ban list right now. Are you ready? Boom. Here are the details on how the ban list will be implemented. All right. Limited to one. Now, the ban list in Duel Links is a bit different than in Master Duel, and we'll be explaining that in a bit. Gazelle. The two key cards of Salman Great decks will be limited in order to reduce their ability to gain an advantage over the opponent. So there's something else that's limited, and it's Salman Great Roar with it. These are the two key cards. Now, what does this mean exactly? Let's look at Gazelle. Gazelle is being played in Salman Great decks at just one because only one's available. So you can see right here, 100% at one. What about Roar? If we look at Roar, Roar is being played at in Salman Grade decks at how many copies will this influence it at one? Only one is available, so you would think this makes no sense whatsoever, right? Well, when both cards are limited to one, between both of them, you could only play one. One copy only. And these two cards were connected. This is the Omni Negate, and the Gazelle essentially searches the Omni Negate. So what do you do now? Do you play Gazelle over the Omni Negate? You play the Omni Negate, there's no real way to search it. Or you play Gazelle, which facilitates a lot more with the deck. You could dump another Salman Great, search other cards, and also this is an extender. It's an amazing card. Well, if you're upset for your Salman Greats, there's another card that could be coming out, probably not anytime soon, though. Salman Great, and let's type in the word, not released. What's not released is this trap, Salaman Great Rage. This could be not a better replacement, but a replacement for Roar. So whenever Konami's ready, you could instead dump this from your deck to the graveyard, and this will pop up to two cards in the fields, double poppage, and you essentially search it with Gazelle by sending it from the deck to the grave. But no longer will you have the Omni Negate because it's been making the deck tier zero. Is there any other changes to this? I do think that Gazelle's going to be played over the Roar. I, I think so, because you just have to hard draw this. And if you have to hard draw it, just hard draw other back row cards. What are the most popular back row in Duel Links right now? We have Enemy Controller. Actually, oh, shoot, I don't want to look at this. We're going to get spoiled. Let's look at more of the ban list, and we'll go on the overview of what the deck will look like later. Moving on. Enemy Controller to one. This is a card that's been in the game since the release of Duel Links five years ago, mostly being used to tribute your monster as a quick effect to steal your opponent's monster, then attack for game. This steals games. Well, with all three of these cards limited to one, you now can't play enemy controller in your Salaman Great deck. And this also means if your deck has a semi-limit, because this used to be semi-limited, this is a buff. You could now play enemy controller. Uh, where you were not able to before. And let's see, was Enemy Controller really being played as much in a Salman Great deck? Let's look at Enemy Controller. Let's click on that and have that load. It is the top most used in Salaman Great. You can see right here. So actually, that is another nerf for the deck, specifically to Salaman Great, but could be a buff to other decks. Very interesting. Okay. Able to decide duels in the current metagame. Okay, <laughs> let's keep on going. Head Judging. This card is powerful in a vast number of decks, and it will be moved to limited one alongside Enemy Controller. So Enemy Controller was suppressing the use of other cards that were semi-limited, so I'm thinking 
They're going to put those other powerful cards to semi-limited so that you can't play enemy controller with two head judging. Now you got to choose between both. This is a card I very much hate. I dislike this card immensely. It is not cool in Duel Links at all. When your opponent's monster activates a card effect, you flip a coin. And then you steal their monster if you flip the coin correctly. You negate and steal. That is freaking ridiculous. It steals the entire game. Is it having a massive meta impact in Duel Links right now? No, it's not. But I'm glad that Konami's having the proper foresight to see that this would maybe become a problem. And so they're just limiting it to one preemptively. As you can see, just Trickstar is using this card. So I'm very happy to see that. Uh, you know, Konami's stepping up their game. What's going on? They, they're they preemptively hitting an unfun card. Interesting. Treacherous Trap Hole. Another card that was semi-limited alongside enemy controller. Treacherous Trap Hole. Let's take a look at it. Treacherous Trap Hole. Very powerful card, especially in Duel Links, where we only have a 20-card deck. No trap cards in your graveyard. Target two monsters in the field. Destroy those targets. And with popular cards being like Book of Moon, the downside, enemy controller and Book of Moon, Book of Moon actually has fallen in popularity. Look at Book of Moon. It's nowhere to be seen on popularity because you can't Book of Moon link monsters. But with popular cards like Book of Moon, at least when it was popular, there was no downside to using Treacherous because you would use Treacherous Trap Hole. And then your other cards would all be quick play spells to balance, to counter the balance of Treacherous, which was supposed to be you're not playing any other trap. So that's very interesting. I, I think that's good. Uh, alongside the head judging, uh, there might be more limit to ones to match the enemy controllers so you can't play it with enemy controller. Dark Lord Ixchel. Ixchel is going from two to one. Now, you could think that this is a buff or a nerf, and we're going to have to investigate that. This card will be moved to limited one so that players could use it. See that? Limiting a card from two to one is actually a buff. What does that mean? Let's look at Dark Lord. Dark Lord, Ixtel. So before, between Sanctified Dark Lord, Dark Lord Contact, and the Ixtel, if you have three cards semi-limited, it's impossible to play all three. You cannot. So now you could play Dark Lord with one of the non-targeting negate, one of the special summon from the graveyard, and one Ixtel, which is draw two. This is a buff. This is good. This is great for Dark Lord. I don't think they have any other cards that are limited, so I'm happy to see it. Dark Lords used to be a tier zero deck back in the day. Is this going to make them tier zero? Probably not, but uh, that's interesting. I get to dust off my own Dark Lord cards, and if you have taken a break from Dark Lord, you can now come back and play this deck. Okay, what else? World Legacy Whispers. Well, we were looking at the tier list, and Mech Knights is tier three. We also see in the Casey Cup they did well. So it looks like they don't want Mech Knights to take over the tier zero or maybe even tier one spot, so they are preemptively hitting them. Uh, what is up with this? The World Legacy Whispers. This will be limited to reduce Mech Knight deck's ability to take control of the field. What's very funny about Duel Links is that there's only three zones, three monster zones. So with the Mech Knight cards, how they work is you could easily get three Mech Knights on the field, so you're covering the entire field. And what happens is with the Whispers and the Secret is that you negate any opponent's monster effect that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control. In Master Duel, that's five columns, so you could easily dodge the Mech Knight, but in Duel Links, you swarm the field with just three Mech Knights, and that's it. All three columns of monster effects are negated, and the Whispers is negate any spell effect in the column. So if you have three Mech Knights, no monster effects, and no spell effects, and now that both are limited to one, you're not going to be able to play both. So you have to choose. Do you want to negate monsters or negate spells? I, I guess that's been a problem in Mech Knights. Oh, oh Whispers, they were playing. Uh, some were playing two. Mostly were being played at one. Some Mad Lads are playing zero. But if we look at the other one, Secret, probably 100% being played. Yep, 100%. So you are going to still be able to negate monsters in all three columns, and you're just no longer going to negate spells. That has been stripped away from you. And how do you feel about that? Your Mech Knight investment potentially got worse from hitting a card of Mech Knights. Is that, I don't, do you th think that's going to destroy the deck? If you invested Ultra Rare, Nightfall, Super Rare, Blue Sky, Ultra Rare, Morning Star, 
is that going to be a big deal? Maybe you even have Yellow Star being played, and now you can't negate spells anymore. That's going to be interesting. It should still be a competitive deck, though. Let's move on. Is that it for Limited 1? That's it for Limited 1. Okay, let's go to Semi-Limit. Semi-Limited. Let's scroll nice and slow. Semi-Limited. Lady Debug. We are limiting this card as it allows players to consistently play a combination of cards that give their opponent little chance to fight back. Lady Debug is another nerf to Salamangrate. Let's look at that. Lady Debug. Let's open this up and let's read it. On summon, you could add a level three or lower cybers from your deck to your hand, which would be adding your gazelle, adding any of the Salamangrates that are level three or lower. And the popularity in Salamangrate, 10% did not use it, but 47% used it at least at one. But now it's semi-limited. We're going to see exactly what that has done to Salamangrate after we look at all the changes, because I don't want to be spoiled on any other changes with sound man great we're gonna look at the full ban list and see what the deck will look like in totality but code talker was using it at three and they're not a top tier deck so what the hell did salaman great get code talker nerfed preemptively or maybe this was at least going to be a card that salaman great was going to move to playing at three after the nerfs to salaman great so this is collateral damage for code talker potentially a non-top tier deck and you hate to see that collateral damage. Let's see, moving on. That's it for semi-limited, okay. Limited three, limited to three. Salaman Great Circle. This card will be limited to three to prevent Salaman Greats from having access to other limited to three cards. Well, let's look at what that means. We're gonna type in limited to three and you can see the popular ones. Crackdown steals a monster, Compulse, spin a link monster or any monster on the field back to the hand, including your own. Now you can't play circle with these cards unless you're playing less than three circle. So that's interesting. As you could see, the most used deck for Compulse was Salaman Great, and now it's going to go from most used at three to zero, which is quite interesting because the Compulse is a pay to win card you had to spend money to get this card at three since it's from a selection box mini and now if you want to continue to play salaman great you now potentially have a card that you spent money on you no longer could use at least in your salaman great deck or maybe at most you'll use one i don't think you're going to be dropping more than one circle to fit in a compulse you'll probably just stick to three circle and play other back row that's kind of popular crackdown another card you would have to spend money for to have at three until it gets reprinted in a regular box so these both of these cards already are competing for your money and their spots in the deck between both of them you can only play three and now it's circle you're gonna probably play zero and zero after maybe spending some money on them so that's interesting let's move on anishi to three anishi is going from two to three the limitation to this card will be eased to allow for greater flexibility when building a six samurai deck now there's a theme going on here the theme of this entire ban list is tier zero dark lords was x tier zero six samurai was x tier zero and salaman great is current tier zero so they are unrestricting the other tier zero decks that used to be tier zero to free them up a bit now, for the Six Samurai, we're going to have to see the full Six Samurai changes, if there are any more, before looking at Six Samurai. We'll be looking at Dark Lord, Six Samurai, and Salaman Great. I need to remember to look at all of those three. So this is very good. It's Quick Effect Bounce a Monster back to the hand. Dojo to three, 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 both three, both were semi-limited. So that means you would only be able to play one Anishi and one Dojo. This is huge. With both of them at three... I would say you're going to play two Dojo and one Anishi. Six Samurai players have been hoping for Anishi to go to one while keeping Dojo at two. But now both of them at three, it's pretty much the same thing. But you have more of a choice. You're probably going to choose two Dojo, one Anishi, though. Or maybe now you even have the option for zero Anishi and triple Dojo. If you want that super consistent turn one six Samurai of the Negates, six Samurai Shien. If you want to super consistently get that going, you might just play Triple Dojo and not even play Anishi at all. So that is very interesting. 
And with them being limited to three, you get to use the very popular card that you used to use back in the day. And it's called World Legacy. Legacy. Where's the legacy? The, the Clash. So this is even a bigger buff to six samurai than putting an Ishii at one. You have the option to play three dojo. You could play two clash now. Banish your Shien from the field. It comes back in the end phase to reduce a monster in the field. This is great protection for Shien. And now it's back. Wow. Six samurai. You get to dust off your six Sam cards. That is great. I think that's a really good idea for dual links. If you took a break from dual links that you can now come back with your Dark Lords. Come back with your Six Samurai X Tier Zero decks you very likely own if you used to play Duel Links to at least try the game out again. Let's keep on going. Oh, oh, okay, that's it for the Limited Three. Now we have no longer on the list, Cosmic Cyclone. So with your Dojo and Anishi, you can now play Cosmic Cyclone because otherwise the Limited to Three cards would restrict you from playing Cosmic Cyclone. Minus 1,000 life, banish a back row card in the field, Although very powerful, it will be unlimited to promote change in the metagame. Okay, very nice. Change things up. Now, this is pretty good against Salamangrate because Salamangrate has protection with their Bail Links. Their back row and field spell cannot be destroyed because they could banish the Bail Links instead. And with Cosmic Cyclone freed up, now you're gonna more you're gonna see more people with Compulse and Crackdown with Cosmic Cyclone to more easily counter Salamangre back row cards of the field spell. So that's good. That is strong against. I'm not gonna say it's a counter to Salamangre, but if you happen to be using it, it could be helpful. Moving on, Invocation. No way. I can't say that Invoker was tier zero. I'd have to look at the history, but this is a tier one deck boost. No freaking way. Invocation will be unlimited to allow for greater flexibility when building an Invoke deck. They did not want everyone to be playing Invoked in every different deck, but I guess it's time to free the Alistair. No way. Phantom Knights of Ragged Gloves. Also, so further unrestricting the Phantom Knight deck. You maybe don't even know that Phantom Knights were a top tier deck. Maybe you took a break because this was within the release of Master Duel and now it's being unlimited. It was nerfed, released within Master Duel's release, nerfed within Master Duel's release and now unrestricted. So if you're coming back to the game, you probably don't even have this, but now you could play Phantom Knights. Invoked Earth, I like to call them Invoked Earth. This will be unlimited. This is just a vanilla 3,300 attack monster, I believe. 33, let me see the invoke. Let's type in invoked overall. What are the restrictions? Invoke. So with invocation and invoker at three, you'd only be able to play three between both of them. Now you could play triple invoker. Same thing with the invoked earth at 3,000. It was 3,300 defense, that is. You still have the cockatiss band, but wow. Okay, it's time to get Invoking. They are freeing up the Invoke, and you have Cosmic Cyclone that can be played with Invoker now. That is very, very interesting. Very nice. Okay, you have the skill where you could search for Invoker after using Cosmic Cyclone. That's a huge boost to Invoker. Let me try to remember the skill. It's like uh, you search for a Spellcaster after 1,000 life. It is Sorcery Conduit. Oh, they already nerfed that. 1,500 life, so Cosmic Cyclone already does not trigger that anymore. Interesting. I think uh, Draw Sense low level, though. Draw Sense low level with, I think it's low dash level. Yeah, there we go. Cosmic Cyclone. You minus 1,000 with Cosmic Cyclone. Draw phase. Draw your Invoker randomly if it's your only level 4 or lower, which I can't imagine it would be, but maybe you would play that with it. Okay, that's interesting. What is the latest Invoke deck that people have been playing? Yeah, it's fallen off big time. <laughs> big time. Big time falling off. That's with two Invoker, one Invocation, none of the Invoked Earth. So that's going to free them up a bit. I think Konami saw this and they're like, wow, this is pathetic. We got to free up the Invoke. Another card that if you're returning to Duel Links, released in 2019, you'll very likely have. Wow. I, this tells me they want people to come back that have the older cards. Gaga Ga Head. This is another tier zero change. Gaga Ga was tier. Z this is a huge ban list. They, they're telling if you used to play tier zero and you stopped because your deck got nerfed, please come back is what Duel Links is saying. This card will be unlimited to allow for greater flexibility when building an on a mat deck. No freaking way. Gaga Ga Ga Ga, Ga deck. What has the deck been? They already nerfed the skill, so I think it's okay to do this. 
This is what a deck looks like. Uh, you can't play it like this because the one reinforcement, one treacherous, that's no longer good. But now the Gaga Ga Head no longer restricted. I love to see that. Very good. Interesting. Now, I, I think it was semi-limited. So, or, or limited to one maybe? I think, yeah, it was limited to one. Oh, no, semi-limited. So now you could play it alongside other semi-limited cards. So it's more flexibility with that. Okay. Squire. This card will be unlimited to allow for greater flexibility with Shuranui. Interesting. Interesting. Shuranui. Semi-limited solitaire. And I think the Squire was semi-limited with it. I don't have the before changes. I think I'll fire a dev over that because we don't have that on our article. Also, not on the Forbidden Limited. It's only showing stuff that got limited to 3, 2, or 1. What the hell? So what was Squire restricted at? Uh, latest deck November squire oh this dude's already playing <laughs> we already have a tournament where people are oh there you go you get to see the change live squire played at three with two solitaire before that back in September it looked like one squire and one solitaire is what you had to choose between I think the sun saga already got freed a while ago so wow Okay, uh, very nice. So we can look at the tournament uh, results of this tournament to already see what the ban list changes are going to do to the game to maybe see if you'd be interested in playing again. Squire, Squire, Spirit Master, also unlimited. So if we look at this, uh, not playing the Spirit Master, it's more of a graveyard version of the deck. If you want to do banishing from the graveyard, you get to get popping with the Spirit Master. So I think that card has completely fallen off, but now could come back. Very nice. It's also a follow-up card as it summons a Shuranui from the Hand or Graveyard. Now let's see more, more, more. Necros Valkyris. This card will be unlimited to allow for greater flexibility when building a Necros deck. I think the fear with this card was that every deck was going to play it. Every deck because it had a crazy hand trap effect. It states that when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you banish one Necros card from your graveyard and discard this card, negate the attack, then end the battle phase. So you'd be able to play a necros card that searches it which one searches it i'm not sure exactly this one discard this card add valkyris then valkyris banish Brionic, and end the battle phase and i don't think they wanted people to play this but now they don't care go ahead triple Brionic, triple valkyris negate you want to use that for the battle phase mate go ahead uh, maybe stall decks will even play this uh, i don't it might be played more in non-necros decks than actual necros decks but that'll be interesting to see I like it. Okay. Gen X controller <laughs> unlimited allowing for greater flexibility when building a water deck. You want to see what this did? I think that we had Christron was at tier one, maybe teetering at tier zero. Gen X. Oh wait, Undyne also got unlimited. Was, uh, is this, are we getting spoiled on a change? Let's see back in the day, back in the day. Here we go. Back in the day, you could play triple Undyne, one control. Look, these older decks, it's fully legal now. Wait, well, wait, that's not too old. Let's let's do a further deep dive into Christron. Let's see if it's at actual full power. Let's load up all the decks here, and we're going to see Christron back in the day. Tournament Christron so that we could have a true, oh my Jesus, 20,000 decks. Christron, Christron. 600 Christron tournament decks. Let's go deep. Let's go deep. Let's go to like page 13. Yeah, here's when it was super good. It So not as good as back in the day, but close to it. Okay. Uh, wait, you know, this one's uh, legal. This is a legal version of the deck. Let's go back to, let's go to page 23. Yeah, you're not going to be able to play it like this, but uh, closer to what it used to look like. Interesting. Okay. And there you go. Those are the total changes. Now, let's go to the tier list. Let's see the changes to Salamangrate. Let's see the changes to Mech Knights. Let's see the changes to, we wanted Dark Lord too, right? Dark Lord. Let's see the changes to another one. One more. I think Six Samurai is going to be another good one to look at to see how the deck's going to change. And then let's look at the tournaments that recently happened. So if we look at Salamangrate, they can't play the Roar and Gazelle together. I'm going to guess that they're going to play Gazelle over it. They can't play Compulsor Crackdown with the Circle unless they drop down Circle. I'm going to guess that we're going to play three of this and play one Gazelle. 
and we lost enemy controller no more enemy controller which we played at two and did the lady debug we still get to play uh, that's fine play it at two we're not going to play other semi limits so that's quite the big change we'll look at a tournament mech knight uh, we talked about that earlier we're not going to be able to play the whispers and the secret at the same time so no more will we be negating spells we'll just negate monsters and let's look at dark lords a recent sample deck back in may 2022 there's no Ixtel, but now you can play Ixtel with it. So Ixtel, draw two, search Ixtel. That's a big deal. Even just one Ixtel, that is huge. So great change for Dark Lords. And then six Samurai. Here's a six Samurai deck list back in early November, playing two Dojo, no Anishi. They can now go to three Dojo or two Dojo, one Anishi. And as we said, you can now play Legacy Clash, which was not legal. So clash with your Shien. That this is a big change. I think so. This is big. And that's it for those four decks. Now let's go to the front page. We have a battle phase tournament that recently just happened. 95 players. Damn. Damn. Let's see. Oh boy. Phantom Knights now the best deck. What? <laughs> what? What the? Okay, let's see. First place Phantom Knights. The Ragged Gloves came off the restriction and now it's time to get Phantom Knighting. The Phantom Strategy is a very cool skill. Grabs Fog Blade, which is not in the game, but in the game through the skill only, and negates. Very nice. And what else? We have Code Talker that got hit by losing a third Lady Debug, and they're still being played. Okay. All right. That's good. Second place. I'm happy to see that, because they weren't top tier, then got hit from as collateral damage. And you see the former Tier 0 no longer tier zero, as I suspected. One gazelle, no roar, triple circle, no compulse because they replaced it with karma cut instead. Pretty much exactly what I predicted would happen. Very nice. I don't know if we'd call this tier one though. What is the breakdown of how many Sam Greats played? Sam Greats still in the top three played. Sure, Nui and Phantom Knight shot up there. Six Samurai in the top four. Happy to see that. Let's see if we could see more deck lists real quick. Uh, nothing changed here besides if Salman Great got weaker, then that's just going to open up other decks that got suppressed by Salman Great. So I'm not sure if this had a bad matchup against Salman Great, but uh, get Gandora in. Okay. More Salman Great. Same way as the previous build. Yes. Needle Ceiling plus Bailings is very fun. Destroy the entire field of monsters besides your own because the Bail will protect you. Triple Circle, one Gazelle, no Counter Trap, Omni Negates. And that was an interesting discussion about Duel Links. The difference between Duel Links and Master Duel is that Master Duel, a lot of decks, they set up turn one with an Omni Negate, and then Duel Links was supposed to be different than Master Duel, and then now Duel Links felt like Master Duel Light, where the best deck was a Master Duel deck where you set up a turn one Omni Negate, and now they took that away. So maybe that's the kind of feedback they were receiving. People are like, hey, I played Duel Links to be different than Master Duel, not just a lesser version of Master Duel. That's the important difference there. So I think that is a big change there. Uh, a big benefit of Duel Links compared to Master Duel is you could argue that there's a lot more interaction. And if people are playing Duel Links for that interaction, do not make Duel Links like Master Duel. Keep it different. It's fast. It's fun. It's interactive. Okay, a Chroma. And with that said, I, I do think they need to, still need to make the game more accessible. Please make the game more accessible, Konami. Stop with the selection box nonsense. People that invested in Compulse and Crackdown, and they still play Sound Mangrate, they kind of got screwed. I, I don't like that at bit. It should be gems only for the selection box. Keep them limited time, limited banner, just like other gacha games, it's fine. But you should be allowed to fully use gems on that. And I would like some kind of crafting system within the box I am buying from. So, for example, yeah, I'm just tossing this in in case Konami's watching. They said that they do watch my YouTube and my Twitch, and we haven't put out a Duel Links video in a while, so maybe they're going to watch this. If I am pulling from this box and I don't like Rescue Ferret, maybe I could trade three of my Rescue Ferrets for one other card in this box, at least. I have two Circle, three Ferret, two Ferret, three Ferret, give me a Circle. And then maybe 
I already have a ton of the Illusion Magician because I spent money on the selection box. I could trade three Illusion Magician for my third pot of duality instead of continually digging. Reward me for spending money on the game earlier and reward people for digging through the boxes. I know an even better crafting and trade system could be implemented, but maybe baby steps, Konami, within the box, trade within the box, do something, something. Okay, let's keep on uh, real quick. Let's skim through this now. More Phantom Knight. It, Infernoid's been clapping. This is one of my favorite decks in Master Duel. I do want to try this out. And there we go. That's the video. Oh boy, it was a long one. But if you want to support me, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You're going to enter the $100 giveaway. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And I enjoyed recording this video. So I would like to cover... All things Yu-Gi-Oh! You want to hear what I have to say about the TCG, Master Duel, Duel Links, and you enjoyed this, please consider supporting this video, and I will have more of it. Thank you very much. I did skip out on the TCG video because I just, I, I don't know, I didn't feel like recording a video that day, and then I feel like if I'm a day late on talking about a ban list, then it's really not worth talking about. But, you know, Mystic Mind, blah, 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 all that got hit, and uh, this is interesting. I, I did want to say some things about that. It maybe you don't even really know too much about these cards and you would still want to hear my thoughts about them. And well, you know, I'm still figuring things out. I don't have things figured out. All right. I love you all. Thank you. Goodbye.